Hello everyone, good morning. Can you guys hear me loud and clear? Let me know because I think uh, there's a problem with my microphone. So give me a 5x5 five five and after that we'll start, okay? Uh, Zen Zoned, uh, good morning, bro. Uh, Andres, good morning, lads. Good morning, mate. You're from England. I love England. Uh, I love accent of England. <laughs> Drish, Drisha, good morning. Uh, moonlight and sunshine, good morning. XLR. Nas never tapped the Asian low suspect. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, okay? Zenzone, I have no control over the ads, so I can't control it. I put it in the lowest ad, okay? The ad is turned on because the monetize monetization is on. So, yeah, I have no control over how many ads you will see. It totally depends on the YouTube. Christopher, London fries action looks like turtle soup. Really? Okay, we'll check. Joshua, good morning. Uh, resting my mind this week. Uh, noobs will think it's insane, but when they lose more than they want, they will know it's wise. Um, it depends on you if you want to trade or not. It depends on your mental capacity. Zenzoid, you are in the UK? Nice to meet you, mate. I'm on good morning. Good morning, everyone. Okay, uh, Sylvia. Good morning. Sergio. Good morning. Diana. Good morning. Uh, Christopher. GM flow from Florida. Good morning from Montreal. <coughs> Guys, say good morning. Yes. The super chat. What do you mean? It's, it's already on. Christopher super chat feature has still not been turned on, bro. Uh, to be honest, I don't need super chat, okay? Uh, but anyway, you can. I see that one feature is on is super sticker. So if you want to do something there, yeah, you can. I, I forgot to turn it on today. Tomorrow, tomorrow I will, okay? Tomorrow I will turn it on. So let's start. We'll start with weekly chart, and seems like uh, we have a good. Good price action here on weekly. So we came so near to this, this inversion right here. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out if, if we hit it or not. It's just a contract change, okay. So here I can see that it hit the uh, inversion, and here I can see it didn't. It hit the fair value gap, which is right here. But I want to see price reaching up at this fair value gap. Okay, let me check uh, real quick. Uh, what's the contract month today? This month, YMZ, right? Immediate DAO features. Let's take a look there. And we hit this inversion on the contract month. The contract is ending on December. Okay, so we have we hit this inversion that I, I wanted to see price hitting this inversion right here. Just by a little just by a little bit, okay. So we'll go back to our chart YM1. And here price didn't hit it. Anyway, so we'll keep an eye on this inversion. This inversion is something that I taught inside my three day workshop in day two. Okay, this inversion is powerful. It has some specific reason why it's powerful. So we'll keep an eye on this and we also hit this weekly fair value gap. So two deep premium PTA, we, uh, we hit it. Now we'll go to daily chart and see if daily chart is indicating any bearish price action or not ok 
Okay, now it's looking good. So we do have a fair value gap here, right? It's our CPI delivery from 14th November. So we'll also keep an eye on this, but I'm gonna mark it. Uh, where the where's my regular trading hours? Anyway, I'll find the regular trading hour. So this is a regular trading hour gap that we yet to fill. So I'm gonna mark the fair value gap here and we'll keep an eye on this one. So this is our BC from the daily chart and this is our inversion from the weekly chart. We have a news at 8.30, right? Unemployment claims. So we'll see how the news delivers. So we'll try to build a narrative where the news can deliver. And if we are correct, guessing where the news will deliver, we can expect to see a high probability trade after that. So now let's go to four hour chart. Uh, we are building our narrative why price should do something and where price will go. So we have our BC here <clears throat> from the daily. We have our inversion from the weekly chart and now we need a little bit more confirmation we do have a small little separation here which seems like a volume balance okay it's a new day opening gap so we'll also keep an eye on this one okay this new day opening gap will give us a good bias once price goes below it we can expect to see bearish price action once price comes above it we can expect to see price reaching for premium pdras so let's change the color of it and let's mark it red. Now let's go to hourly chart. And on hourly chart, what do I see here? A lot of sell side liquidity below this swing low, right? We do have a breaker here. I do have a very beautiful breaker visible on hourly chart. So I'm gonna mark the sell side liquidity. If price is getting support, sorry, resistance, from this uh, breaker, we can expect to see price reaching for this sell side liquidity and ultimately going even lower where our uh, regular trading hour gap resides. So let's mark it quickly, this breaker block. And we also generated a fair value gap here. Do you guys see that? It's a very, very aggressive delivery towards sell side. And if I take you guys on the regular trading hours, you can see our gap is actually coming here. So I'm not going to take the whole BC from the daily chart. Rather, I'm only going to mark the gap from the regular trading hours. So this is how the gap looks like. And it's our regular trading hours gap. And it's unfilled, right? Price had a very aggressive delivery throughout throughout two weeks. Two weeks we have we saw like <clears throat> very aggressive <clears throat> bullish delivery. So we'll see what what price can do today. And uh, and there's nothing much here going on other than if a inversion right here. So I believe price is not bullish here. The 8:30 delivery. Uh, what I believe it will come towards sell side liquidity. We do have a couple of uh, relative equal highs up here, but for price to reach all the way up here, price will have to go and break this inversion first. So we'll also keep an eye on this inversion. We'll see if price is reaching for this inversion, tapping inside this inversion and then going lower. Okay. So this is an inversion inside the breaker. And this is also something that I taught inside my three day workshop in day one, this inversion. And this is also a trading model. It gives us early entries in breaker. Now let's go to 15 minute chart. And seems like price is reaching for this inversion, right? As well as the breaker. We do have a big gap, a big fair value gap here. So if I mark, if I measure this fair value gap like this, 
do you guys see where the 0 0.5 is coming and the 0 0.25 the lower quadrant is coming at the low of the inversion from the hourly chart so what i believe uh price will reach for the inversion right hit the inversion and then we will possibly see a dive deeper into this sell side liquidity at 8 30 delivery if if i'm correct this is what i'm expecting to happen expecting to see okay now let's go to five minute chart and let's see once price is going towards buy side liquidity once price is reaching for the premium level okay right here this is a premium level we want to see price generating relative equal lows below here and what do i mean by that once price generates relative equal low it will work as a target for us okay and price gravitates back towards these levels uh, once it generates equal high equal lows so we already know it equal high and equal low is a works like a magnet for price and we basically target it <clears throat> so we'll keep an eye on this so this is my whole narrative for 8:30. why price should go lower right our narrative says we have a breaker here from the hourly chart we do have a inversion here and we are below are we below the midnight opening yes this is our midnight opening price right and we are below the midnight midnight opening price so i don't basically use it because i don't need to i already see that okay this is the midnight price so price is going below it but uh, i'm gonna keep it on my chart so that it becomes useful for some folks who are new to this community once price goes below these levels we expect to see bearish price action once price goes above it we expect to see bullish price action and that's how it happens and now price is trading below the midnight opening price and we want to see what well once price is reaching we, we know that price is reaching for this inversion and the breaker and we want to see price generating relative equal lows below here so do we see anything a strong target yes we do see price generating trend line liquidity so what i believe price will break this trend line liquidity at uh, 8 30 and as you can see it's a very beautiful trend line liquidity if you put your trend line here very beautiful support and i believe price will reject very soon at 8 30 it's 8 8 we still have a couple of minutes we do have a buy side liquidity here on 30 seconds so price will be reaching for the breaker right we know it's a bearish pdra as well as price will be clearing out some uh, buy stops from here so i'll keep an eye on this i'll uh watch five minute chart until the news gets delivered and now let's go to nasdaq let's go to the monthly chart sorry weekly chart and let's see what's happening here yesterday i marked two levels from where price can potentially reject okay the buy side liquidity up here and then some and then a rejection block up here okay and price came up hit the rejection block to the tick and showed a very beautiful resistance towards sell side liquidity so on weekly chart i don't basically see much other than this breaker here okay so we are not bearish in long term in higher time frame because as you guys can see it's a very aggressive delivery and we do have a fair value gap here I would have liked if price formed a fair value gap here at this candle but we didn't close our week yet so we'll see if price is forming a bullish candle here and the next week if price forms a fair value gap here this will make this order block sorry breaker block a high probability breaker and that will mean we can expect more bullish price action and target this bc all the way up here sorry cb all the way up here but we still need more confirmation for price to reach there and if the war is continuing if more people in gaza are dying the stock will continue rising that's how the americans make money they make money from war they create the war and that's how they do it and the people who pay the tax they invested in the war and their food everything keep rising all the time right before when i came in canada i was buying uh, one liter milk for like suppose two bucks now the same one liter bottle got into like four uh more than like four dollar 
like five dollar four dollar something in cents for 50 i believe so every single day the price is increasing in everything but we are keep paying our taxes right and it never decreases and they invest all their money into war in killing people and we support the government how good we are <laughs> anyway so we have our price seems like rejecting towards this uh fair valley gap here right so here we have our regular trading our gap as well so we'll keep an eye on this and here we have another important level this is our weekly opening okay once price goes below this weekly opening we i believe that we are really bearish and we'll hit this uh breaker up here but if we are not reaching there if we are not going below this weekly opening price then we have another breaker here that we can expect to see price getting support from why this breaker is so important okay why am i keeping an eye on here and that's how you should be asking question yourself why price should reach here why this level is so important and to me because of my experience i see it quickly for you as a newcomer you will have to measure this fair value gap okay the fair value gap that is on daily chart and what do you see here we have a midway this is the midway of the fair value gap right and it's also aligning with the breaker the high of the breaker here i never measured the candles week okay i always measured the candles body and the folks who have been watching my stream for last three weeks you know how i do it and that's how i do it because that's where most of the liquidity is weeks goes for your stop it does the manipulation it gives us a turtle soup entry so it's less important the more important part is candles body that tells us narrative okay so we have our breaker here this uh i'm gonna might make it red and we'll keep an eye on this breaker we also know we have our midway of this fair valley gap here and we know that the midway of a fair valley gap works like a strong support level okay so now let's go to four hour chart we these these are the levels that i'm getting from uh the daily chart okay, i forgot to mention about this volume balance so price already showed a good reaction rejection from this volume balance but we'll keep an eye on this one so okay now let's go to four hour why don't i see the red line hours and here what you guys see i believe price will reach all the way down here at this level because even here on four hour chart right if you measure this fair value gap where's the midway the midway is coming right exactly with the breaker level that we mark from the daily chart right and if i take you guys on the regular trading hours you can see this is the gap and if i measure the regular trading hour gap the lower qu upper quadrant the 0.75 percent is also coming uh coming here so i believe this is a good support level so what we can expect to see is like price reaching down here then possibly going higher and it's not a hundred percent confirmation that price will go higher from here that's why i never use a limit order okay i always look at the chart how price is behaving here it depends on price how price is delivering here the speed of the delivery all the good stuff okay and we'll, we'll keep an eye on this as i am streaming every single day now these are the levels that i got we had a relatively equal low down here but we cleared it out okay there's another important thing we had a hidden fair value gap here that our mentor taught us as implied fair value gap right so the 0.5 percent of this week is coming here and the 0.5 percent of this week will come here so price came back up hit the implied fair value gap and now it's rejecting towards sales high liquidity so on lower time frame i basically don't use this this implied fair value gap but on higher time frame when i see it it uh, gives a good uh good opportunity to sell to buy okay so when you see it on higher time frame the implied fair value gap keep an eye on this because this works like just like the regular fair value gap now let's go to hourly chart and 
if the news is delivering aggressively we are hitting this level and then we are getting support we do have a couple of buy sell liquidity here and seems like these are london high right so why it's not showing my london high time is going to show today's session only show current week session only show last four week session so session okay uh midnight historical open midnight historical. it doesn't show the london london opening price anyway i wanted to see the london opening prices okay uh so this is our london high so we'll keep an eye on this one and london how you cleared out london low right so we have relative equal highs here is it smt if it's SMT, then I believe price will not reach for it as faster as we want. And seems like it is SMT, right? With uh, Dow and ES, NASDAQ didn't make it the higher high then, but it did make the higher low, where NASDAQ and Dow made a higher high, right? So we can expect to see price reaching up here after it delivers uh, liquidity in discount zones. So now let's go to 15 minute chart. We are expecting bearish price action, right? And we have a couple of markings here. This is the marking of a regular trading hour gap. And this is our breaker from the daily chart. Breaker and it's from the daily chart. So we'll see what happens okay folks this is my narrative this is how i see chart it's not a recommendation for you to change your narrative okay you may be correct i may be wrong so stick with your own narrative and we'll see like how price delivers so let's go to five minute chart and 15 minute did i miss anything here where do we have our sell side liquidity okay we do have our sell side liquidity right here and we want to see price reaching even lower we do have this unfilled fair value gap here so i believe this is a good level for price to reach right this whole area and this is the narrative on nasdaq on dow i'm expecting bearish price action and now let's go to dow we'll keep an eye on dow okay dow seems uh dow seems logical to me and we did hit the breaker perfectly uh where was our breaker so here is our breaker on the hourly chart and we came back up right we hit it i want to see price hitting the inversion here and then going lower okay when you see an inversion like this inside the breaker it becomes a strong pda stronger than a fair valley gap which is here and that's what i taught inside my three day workshop in day one i see breaker in three legs leg one leg two leg three okay every single leg provides an entry opportunity so this is some knowledge like with the folks who are telling me you are selling ict uh you are copying all the things ict i'm basically not uh, the folks who are inside my workshop they will tell you that okay it's way deeper yes the breaker the knowledge is from our mentor he's the mentor and i never feel ashamed to call myself a student of him he is the mentor but i found a lot of stuff from my experience that you will not see outside of my group so these are the some these are some things that i share inside my three-day workshop even there the turtle soup model even the way i see inversion <coughs> it's not out there Anyway, so I want to see price reaching at this inversion and then going lower. We generated more trend line liquidity here. Right, so I'll keep an eye on this Dow and let's put our other charts here. NASDAQ, 5 minute and ES as well, 5 minute. Okay, do we have a breaker on nasdaq we don't we generated a lot of relative equal highs up here right so we'll see where the news delivers okay if news is delivering towards buy side and clearing out the relative equal highs 
we can expect to see a bearish price action after that because we'll have this gap regular trading hour gap unfilled and yeah we'll see what how price does it let me add the indicator ICT. No, not here. I wanna put you here. I see it here, everything. Yeah. The settings. OTC5, midnight historical price, midnight historical price lines, New York equities, weekly, monthly, and standard deviation lines off. Okay. And put you out and So all we can do now is wait to see how the New York, sorry, how 8.30 will deliver. And after that, we'll have a good narrative. So are we trading below the midnight opening price? Yes, we are below the midnight opening price. So what also can happen, okay? Price can deliver two way at news. That's why I don't trade news because I have no certain confirmation what price will do. We do see relative equal high up here, right? And we also have the midnight opening price here. So what price can do <clears throat> coming up, clearing out the equal highs from here, going a little bit above the midnight opening price, hitting the uh, order blocks here and then coming down. Okay, because above midnight opening price is a premium level below the midnight opening price is a discount for price and that's how price sees it. So once the 8.30 delivery, 830 delivery comes in, I'll go and watch gold. Okay, we'll take a quick look on gold. Let's take a quick look on gold. And today I'll also talk about US oil, crude oil. How many of you trade on crude oil? Let me know in the chat, okay? Let me know in the chat, hashtag crude oil. The folks who tra trade on crude oil. Do we have anyone here who trades on crude oil? so yesterday we identified from where price can potentially reverse okay uh, and we saw price hitting the inversion this level was called out if you if you watched my yesterday stream you saw me calling out the level from here but price reached a little bit lower that's why I don't basically like gold Gold does a little bit more manipulation than we expect to see. Right, gold hit the negative uh, negative five standard deviation and then is rejected. So usually our high probability reversal happens from negative three to negative four standard deviation inside this range. But on gold, we saw price rejecting, oh, sorry, getting support from the negative four and negative five standard deviation right and and i think here is on hindsight folks okay the folks who join me for the first time we are not analyzing chart in hindsight we do it live we don't care if we are right or wrong because we don't have a control over that we believe in high probability we have a model and we believe in it that 50 to 70 percent of the time our model will deliver us winning trades but still will lose 30 40 percent of the time and that's okay that's a business okay and it's all about business okay it cannot run a business without losing some money same goes for the trading you will have losing streak it's okay if you have a high probability model if you have a risk management on your side eventually you will turn out to be profitable so we do have a breaker here right we have a higher high so let's let's put our uh standard deviation again where can i do that this this price section seems very very choppy to me if we had a stop hunt below this low here i would have considered this as a um uh, this as a standard deviation projection level 
but let's see we have a manipulation lag right here and if i put it like this as we can see our reversal level high probability reversal level is coming all the way up here but on gold it seems like price likes to reject from the four and the five standard deviation okay because as you can see price reached yeah price filled the negative three and four standard deviation but it reached all the way up a little bit more inside the outside the negative four standard deviation so we got a rejection towards sell side right and we do have a breaker here do you guys see that so this is our breaker all of these down close candles why is it a breaker the folks who don't know this is a higher high this is a new higher high and then these down close candles becomes our breaker so we are trading inside our breaker we generated a high okay we generate yeah no okay we cleared out the swing high now we generated a lot of trend line liquidity down here so i believe price will go lower on gold and what can be our target on gold right for that we'll use the standard deviation again and we can target easily negative 2 to negative uh, 2.5 standard deviation on gold so i'm expecting bearish price action on gold okay i'm expecting the 830 news to deliver lower and reach all the way down here does it make sense gold I, li I like to see higher prices why i don't see uh, i do see a fair value gap here but at the same time if i put my logic here price did reject it from the negative three and negative four standard deviation and price had price generated a lot of relative equal lows down here so yeah do your own analysis okay don't rely on my analysis totally and yeah we'll see we'll see what happens I, i'm expecting lower prices i'm not trading gold so i'm in a safe zone but the folks who are trading gold we did a stop hunt here okay we do have the relative couple of relative equal highs here we'll see what happens on gold but don't i'm saying it again don't rely on my analysis if your analysis is suggesting a different price you are, if you are expecting higher price action stick with it so we hit the inversion right and this is what i taught inside my three-day workshop that why once we see a inversion like this and it becomes a very powerful inversion and the logic you will find it inside my three-day workshop in day one where we had a five-hour lecture only on breaker okay so there's a lot more to know about breaker and this gives a good insight how price will use a breaker and as you guys can see i call the exact level from where price will reject okay so the folks who want to use me as a signal they will be like okay you cannot trade and all the all the best stuff but here hydra is calling levels every single day and getting right countless times right yesterday we did have two losing trades but before that we called market five times in a row and got correct if you i'm saying it again if you are here for signal you will go home with an empty mind with an angry mind but if you are here for to learn okay to get my experience how i see my chart how i do it how can i call with so precision so much precision then you will go with a hand head full of jams a head full of knowledge so let's see if price rejects from here i'm expecting 8 30 delivery to our sell side just couple just one 10 seconds and we'll have the delivery let's see great trade you did yesterday thank you i mitigated my losses from yesterday okay uh i had a very good nice trade at uh at what 11 20 to 11 40 macro so yeah i'm basically i can take now four losses in a row to get to lose one winning trade so what do you guys see that like price came back up on nasdaq right as i told you guys and hit the order block right here now let's see if price wanna move higher because we do have relative equal highs up here and that's why i told you guys i don't trade news because it's not certain what price will deliver we can have a idea what price will do but it's not 
as high probability as we want. After the news, we get a high probability setup, a good indication where price will deliver. So price is trading inside the inversion, right? And we wanted to see it. Now let's see if price rejects lower or not. Now let's go to one minute chart. I'm gonna put the NASDAQ chart here on one minute. Oh my God, why my chart is looking like this? NASDAQ is still trading higher. We do have relative equal high here. So let's see what NASDAQ can do. Three minute, we do have a breaker, right? We do have a breaker here. So let's see. If and we are trading inside the hourly breaker as well. We are also trading inside the inversion that we got from the hourly breaker. Uh, gold should higher. Yeah, that's why we don't trade news The folks who trade news they are gamblers. They're basically just like the people who go to casino and play slots Right, they don't know what will be the outcome. They completely rely on The fate and we don't do that here It's okay to be wrong at news because we don't know what news can potentially do news is not for professionals okay so this is our relative equal sorry this is our sell side liquidity down here let's see okay after that i'll go back to gold again and we'll see what gold can do Scotia bank refers to a long-term reversal what's your view long-term reversal on what insider 14 and you are trading with the Scotia Bank. How do you do that? Just got funded. Thank you for thank you, Hydra, for your teaching. You are welcome. <clears throat> so we have a pool going on here. Okay, what do you guys think? We will have a bearish or bullish price action. Share your opinion here. Okay, at the pool. 47% people are saying we'll have a bearish price action. 29% bullish, 10% sidelines, 14% no expectation. We'll see, okay? Who is getting right? We'll see. So we do have a breaker here, but we need price to reach below it because these are all working like a order blocks, okay? A bullish order block. So let's see what price can do. We still have the relative equal high intact here and on NASDAQ seems like we have a breaker here. Yes, on NASDAQ we do have a breaker on five minute chart right here. A bullish breaker and we do see relative equal highs above. So and price came back down, hit the breaker. Right, we also had a fair value gap here. So three minute chart is looking better compared to the lower time frame so this is our breaker on nasdaq we had a fair valley gap here we came down feel hit the fair valley gap as well as the breaker now let's see if NASDAQ goes higher or not or not. We have relative equal highs here, so we do have target. Not just usual targets, we do have strong targets. So we'll see what price can do here. Try to wait. Okay. So most of you are expecting a bearish price action, right? No, Scotia Bank refers to a long-term reversal. Okay, out of interest. What's your win rate trading as you do? It depends on the month. If de it depends on the week, I don't have a fixed win rate. Okay, so it basically I never went below 
uh, this year I never went below 50% the lowest I had is like 52% and the highest I had is like 84% so it depends the highest I had it was on September okay this was the best month in this year trading with my concept why am I saying month to month because not all the time you'll see price respecting a breaker not all the time we'll see price respecting relative equal high and relative equal lows so when price does that my risk management always comes to save me and eventually when I end the month I ended with 50 to 70 percent win rate that's the usual 80 percent is like when I'm getting super lucky One question for short term trading, uh, take weekly bias. How we can predict the news? Price action works at the same as 15 minutes. See how I'm doing it. Okay, this is how I'm predicting the news, but I'm not trading it because I have no control over where the news will deliver. And uh, news, in the delivery of news is like uh, a low probability. Okay, because all we are doing folks okay trading with odds in our favor what what is our model doing is putting the odds in our favor it's, it's a gambling okay with our model we know that the pattern will repeat and that that means what we have a odd in our favor a higher odd 50 to 70 percent chance of winning and that's how it works on on news we don't have that we have like suppose 20% chance of getting right. So you wanna put money where you know that you will basically get wrong. So I wanted to see this turning out to be a breaker but seems like it's working as a order block and price is trading higher. But look at here, okay folks? This is what I like to see when price is delivering news and leaving the relative equal lows like this clean. Because this means what? Once price reaches for the higher time frame PDA, the premium PDA okay it will reverse it will generate a breaker and it will hunt liquidity all the way down here so see price from the breaker went to the relative equal high all the way up here this is our London high and a beautiful delivery from the breaker eighteen percent per month uh, what do you mean by eighteen percent like 80% gain in profit um I don't aim for this much even with 5% return per month you are overcoming every single person near you in earning okay so I believe 5 to 4 to 5% or even like 6 to 7% per month a return from Trading is really good. Got funded with your teaching. Hail Hydra. You are welcome. That's what we want to see. Okay. Like, these are good stuff. People are using the knowledge and getting. Making their ends meet. And the London high is getting taken out. All right. We are still trading inside the inversion here. And let's see where price is reaching okay on Dow we do have an order block right here the last up close candles and we also do have the relative equal high up here do you guys see that the relative equal high up here so we'll see if price is reaching for the relative equal highs up here or not or not okay let me mark the high Hi, let's go to one minute chart we are still waiting okay news just came out price delivered the news and seems like after the news 
price generated uh, a price activated a good breaker inside our macro as well okay so the folks who say my macros are scam see what do you see here price generated a breaker before the macro but inside the macro price gave an entry and this is what I teach this is the very thing that I teach so this is a good fair value gap for price to get support towards buy side liquidity we have the London high intact so very good beautiful fair value gap we want to see price going higher from this fair value gap we do have order blocks right here So if price is reaching for these order blocks, okay, then I'll see the chart like this, targeting the relative equal high up here, but I'm not going to take the setup because we are outside of our macro, but it seems like a good setup to me. So let's see what price does here. Okay. From the order block right here with a stop loss below this order block targeting like uh, the London high from here I would have taken it if we are trading inside 850 macro okay but I'll wait I'll wait for my macro to get started and after that I'll see what happens so we have a BPR here on Dow right do you guys see it inside our inversion and the breaker from the higher time frame we have a bpr here and we also do have a breaker here which will be visible on the you know, 30 second chart and these lines why are why these are so far okay this is our midnight opening price and we came back up okay we went above the midnight opening price and now we are below the midnight opening price and we generated a fair value gap here we have a lot of strong sell side liquidity resting below here and this is our breaker which is not visible on one minute chart because it's just a one candle and it's not activated yet okay i'm expecting it to turn out to be a breaker and let's see this is our bpr let's see what price does here okay if price is tapping inside the bpr inside 850 then i'll think about taking a setup or something like this 850 macro i always i always uh be a little bit more cautious taking entry inside 850 because i found that most of the time price chops around okay accumulates order for 9 30 delivery inside 850 to 910 macro so i don't consider it is a high probability macro but anyway we'll keep an eye on this so seems like price didn't hit the order blocks but it got support from the midway right midway of the fair value gap here so if you measure the fair value gap let me do it if you measure the fair value gap like this what do you see 0.5 percent the midway of the fair value gap price hit it now let's see if price goes higher or not Now, Bill, to find that out, you will have to join my workshop. How do I take entries with Breaker? It's a good question, but... So, we have our Breaker on 30 seconds, right? And... We'll keep an eye on this. What if I put my chart like this? Okay, it looks choppier. See uh, why I didn't take the entry? Because I don't basically trust the 850 macro much. So price cleared out the London high, right? And let's see what price does here. I'm going to go back to this one. Q1 and Q2 breaker, one minute chart. Price deliver liquidity to London high. A 
and beautiful BC. Okay, this BC can also be beneficial in future as we can use it as an inversion fair value gap. So we'll keep an eye on this BC as well. C can destroy NQ, basically not. This is a very good delivery, Sylvia, on NQ towards buy side liquidity. Are you expecting C can destroy at 9.30? We'll see. So when did this breaker formed, okay? Just what I taught you guys, that every single inside our macros, we'll expect to see price giving us a entry inside our macro zones, okay? So see? this is something that you get from your experience you cannot fake it because i'm showing it to you in live market look at the time 8 20 to 8 40 you will usually see okay a breaker forming inside this time period okay breaker will form before the macro gets started but the uh, price will give you an entry inside our macro periods and what do you see price generate delivered this is our 8 30 news delivery then exactly at 8.34, price came down, gave you an entry inside breaker, and it moved higher. And you won't see people aligning their model with time other than our community, okay? Everyone will talk about time and price, but their entries all the time is random. Okay? What do you guys see here? I'm giving you, I've given you a time. It depends on you how you are building your skill. I'll give you a new time and I told you guys that the breaker will form here. The breaker will give you an entry here. And you will see it every single day. We'll just have to learn how to identify a high probability breaker and the low probability breaker. And this will help you to lose less and win more. Uh, Simon, hi Hydra Simon here. I was in your chat way earlier in the year. Have got a job since then and it's quite hard to trade with work. Just want to say sorry about the loss of your mom. Thanks for the stream. Uh, you are welcome, buddy. Okay. You, you remembered? Damn, bro. It's not hard. Yeah, it's hard. Okay. When I was working, I had a, uh, I had a job from uh, 3 to 11. I was working from 3 to 11 and I was coming back home at like uh, 1230 because the work was uh, one hour ride from my home, one hour metro ride from my home. And I was sleeping, I was getting to bed uh, like around by 1.30 okay, by that time because I'll have to wake up early to learn how to trade, right? I was waking up every single day around 8 o'clock. I didn't know what to do back then but i knew that i cannot do the job it's not for me every single time i go there i don't like it like I, I never enjoyed working that's the thing so i kept myself pushing pushing every day to me okay like uh once i started making money me and my uh friends we are talking like uh, me and my girlfriend we are talking about like the trading how i given is so much effort and I was asking her, do you remember me not waking up a single day when I was working at 8 o'clock? She was like, no, I don't. So yeah, you will have to be like this, okay? Like you'll have to push yourself. And it's always you. If you push yourself, trust me, you'll get there. You'll have a good understanding of how price behaves, what you should be doing. But if you're not, suppose you are uh, given it, giving it time trading once in a week and like, the rest of the week you are not even looking at the chart or just watching random videos on youtube you will progress progress less less than a person who wakes up every day stares at chart every single day you don't have to know what chart is doing just come here okay stare at it <clears throat> watch our mentors 22 mentorship it's easy and that's how i started okay 
So yeah. It's always on you. If you if you want to work for your dream, then you will have to push yourself harder like this. So we generated more relative equal highs up here. Relative equal high. So and this is something that you control like the emotion, the impulsiveness, the FOMO. And also like uh, when you lose, uh, getting sad is in inevitable at the beginning. You'll always be mad at yourself. Why am I losing so much? This is something that you control by tape reading, demonstrating a lot. And I did it a lot Okay, for like one year. I didn't even touch any account. I was uh, trading on demo. So this is something that I had uh, personally, something that I didn't saw inside other people. Like they don't, they can't stick with a demo account for more than two days. And I was trading in a demo account for more than one year. And that's how I build on my skill. Now, if I lose, I don't feel anything. If I win, yeah, it's okay. I made a little bit of money. I made more than what I used to in my job. And that's how I tell myself, you are losing, but you are still making more than what you used to make in a job. So that's why I don't feel it. Okay, if you are comparing yourself with like the people who are making millions, this, then of course you 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 will lose yourself. You'll get impulsive and you'll lose more money, right? It happens inside all of us. It's something that all of us has inside us. We all want to get rich so quick, so we have a BPR here again. We have a volume balance here, so it seems like a choppy delivery so far, right? But okay, this is looking so good to me. We have 920 to 940 macro incoming and we have a lot of sell side liquidity below here, right? A lot of trend line liquidity. So what we can do, we can wait for 830 to come in. Sorry, 920 to period to come in. And after that, we'll see what, what can happen inside here. What can possibly happen inside here? Never give up, never surrender. Yeah, everything you want in life is sitting right outside your comfort zone. Push yourself. Yes, 100%. I'll push myself, lol. At my work, listening to your streams, I'm in uh, charge of my own dreams and goal. My work is just a means uh, to an end. Yes, that's how we all, most of the traders, successful traders, that's how they started. That's how our dream starts, okay? LR, LR on NQ. In five minutes, we can enter at the unicorn targeting the LR, LR. I don't, I don't see chart like LR, LR. Okay, I don't know why people call it with these names. It's premium discount. What's stopping you to call it discount? What's stopping you to calling you premium? LR, HR, LR, what, what's that? I see it as high resistance equity run, low resistance equity run. I avoid trading in high resistance equity run. I trade with low resistance equity run. And that's how I see LR, LR, HR, LR. <laughs> HR, HR, okay. So many lows still on NQ. Yes. Uh, Jay, Sweet Sweet James, we are still waiting, okay. We are still waiting. Seems like you don't have a patience inside you. Recently heard uh, this quote and it really stuck with me. The magic you were looking for is in the work you were avoiding. True in so many ways, yes. So we generated a relative equal high. Now let's see if price is clearing this level out inside our macro. Let's take a look at dollar. Let's take a quick look on dollars. Let's see what dollar is doing. This will give us a good idea where price can go next, right? So dollar came back down to the breaker that we outlined in our previous streams. And we had a good call on dollar so far. Now let's see, we have a relative equal highs up here. And we 
we are trading inside our this is this, what is this is it, is it a new day opening gap okay we are trading back inside the new day opening gap now we are going below the breaker so let's go to 50 minute chart and let's see what dollar can do so we call the market from this level towards buy side liquidity when did we do that yesterday and seems like price respected our analysis very beautifully by using the breaker right the breaker that was here this is the breaker the up close candle price came back down hit the breaker and this is where we call the market to the tick and we have a good relative equal high up here right and for us to expect lower prices on stocks dollar will have to go higher so let's find out from where can dollar potentially reverse or i don't see anything other than this new opening gap here we have a fair valley gap and we have sell we had sell side liquidity below this low price cleared it out and we are also trading inside our new day opening gap here now let's go to five minute chart we have another support level this gray shaded box here so we'll see from where dollar can potentially get the support this is a big fair value gap okay and we'll keep an i'll keep an eye on dollar and i'll tell you guys if i get any high confirmation the dollar will move higher now uh, to me it's like i want to see something on dollar a breaker or an inversion right getting a fair value of getting filled and turning into inversion and this will give me a good a good idea where dollar can potentially go so this is a fair value gap and price is respecting it we have a lot of unfilled fair value gaps here we have a breaker here that price didn't tapped inside we have a mitigation block down here because there's no stop hunt above this high we do have another breaker we do this is our breaker because high higher high so these down close candles becomes our breaker very aggressive delivery price didn't even tap inside tapped inside the breaker here so seems like a good support level because we have a fair value cap we cleared out a sell side liquidity and then we have a new day opening gap up here so we'll see what happens and now we clear out the equal high we are trading inside our new day opening gap now let's see what Dow can do we do have relative equal highs up here on Dow so as we still have a lot of time before our next macro gets started 920 to 940 and I believe I'll find the entry at 920 to 940 so I'll wait I'll wait and we'll see what price can do if we had an entry here right if price came down hit this order blocks i would have to, uh we would have had an entry here and seems like price gave us more than two r here at this level
so price cleared out the relative equal high right i want to see price going below our midnight opening price and going below this this little uh gap right here and on nasdaq we also have a good breaker here do you guys see it we have lower targets and this is our breaker on nasdaq if you look at 30 second it will make more sense this breaker but i'm not gonna do anything until we get inside 9 to any period something to keep keep an eye on and let's see if we have lower targets I see a good um, I see uh, Dow is a good I believe Dow will have a very good delivery to our sell side but the thing is if Dow is gonna take me with it or without me if Dow is gonna deliver with me or without me if Dow is presenting a good breaker setup yeah i will ride it with dow but it will depend okay it will depend how dow wanna respect so we have a fair value gap here i want to see price going lower from this fair value gap because we do have relative equal lows down here so this is our cb let's see if dow respects this cb or not What indicator am I using? I'm using this indicator by, by Kryptonite. Take a screenshot and you will find it. So good react, good rejection from this CB. As I told you guys, I wanna see price going lower from this CB. I'm not gonna do anything until price gets inside 9.30, sorry, 9.20 period, okay? And NASDAQ as well seems like activating our breaker. We are trading inside our 850 to 910 macro, right? And I'm not gonna look at this BPR anymore because I believe price will go lower from here. And this is our breaker. It will become way cleaner if you go and take a look on 30 second. Do you guys see that higher high, new higher high? So this down close candles becomes our breaker. We got rejected from the CB. So this is what I told you guys that if price is gonna, price will reverse, price will go lower. There's no way price is uh, going higher when we have so many sales high liquidity resting below but the thing is if price want to do it with me or not so let's see we have a fair value gap here right let's see if price trades back to this fair value gap or not so something like this i want to see price going lower from this fair value gap from this fair value gap that price generated inside this cb uh, sorry inside this breaker when price was going below the breaker here it generated it so let's see if price goes below from here can you tell if you talk about forex macros in your three-day workshop yes i did talk about it it's the same the models are same for the forex macros go a little bit towards uh, up on our private group okay all the way up and you will see uh, the macros for forex 
as well as crypto it's not in recordings but because i didn't want it to get leaked so that's why i did it like this and it didn't without time a model will not work okay so that's why i kept it hidden it's all the way at the top in our private telegram group you'll find it there so it seems like it turned out to be a breakout breakaway gap and price didn't even reach for it now we are still waiting okay we are still waiting for price to get inside 920 but this is what i see i told you guys that i want to see price going lower from this cb and price did that we have a breaker here i want to see price going lower after hitting the bc here sorry cb here sell side imbalance sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency and we also do have another down close candle here so a lot of resistance to our sell side with these breakers and we do have a lot of high probability targets and nasdaq as well respected the breaker and is going lower today seems like a good day right so far they all are generating the models that we want to see and they all are respecting it so let's see if price comes back up here and goes lower price generated more relative equal lows right so what i believe like i'm not gonna take the entry but you do your own stuff okay you know what to do if price comes down here comes up here take an entry put your stop loss above the breaker and you target two r from here that's how we do it right this hydra discord do you have a free area i can learn ict you can learn ict for free in his in his youtube channel it's all there for free you'll have to figure out what is your model what model goes with your uh character with your risk tolerance okay and that's it So again we have another breaker here okay this is the breaker these down close candles they are also working as a breaker here so what i want to see is price coming back up hitting this fair value cap and then going lower so we'll see if price is doing that if not we'll just watch it deliver 
I generated a lot of trend line liquidity here, a bunch of relative equal highs. So I'll prefer to wait. We have a fair value gap here with the order blocks, right? So let's see if price retraces from here. Do you guys see the fair value gap with the order blocks? So these are like strong PD area for price to get support. So what I believe price may reach for the discount PD area. And on NASDAQ, we do have a fair value gap here. Just above the midnight opening price. This fair value gap, so we'll also keep an eye on this price is generating more relative equal lows when it's going for this level. Any price reaches all the way up there, we'll think about an entry. 9.13, we are slowly approaching towards our next macro, right? So this is our 830 opening price. We hit the 830 opening price here. And this fair value gap. I'm waiting for a good entry, okay? High probability entry that I consider as high probability. To you, it will look like, okay, Hydra is missing out. Why is he not pushing the button here? This is how patience looks like, okay? And I choose to be patient. I don't worry about a setup because I know I have a skill, I have a model that will repeat itself every single day. I'll just have to find out which one is high probability and then without any other thoughts, engage. And that's how I do it. Why picture is so bad? What picture? It's running on 2K. The stream is running on 2K, I believe it's very clear. So EAS has sell side liquidity below here, below this level. This is a this is a very nice level for price to reach the sell side liquidity because we have a relative equal low down here. So all three charts are indicating lower prices. Let's take a quick look on dollar. Let's go to 50 minute chart and dollar generated a bullish candle here inside our new opening gap inside the fair valley gap, which is a deep discount. Also, we cleared out a low here. Now, let's see if dollar moves higher. OK, we can expect to see indices going lower as we have lower targets.
9.16, 4 minutes before we get inside our macro. Pay the trader 30 second and Q, compose a market maker sell model on 30 minutes. We uh, win a bullish breaker. I believe we should, you should take a look at those. Okay, let's see, 30 minutes. What bullish breaker? Which one are you telling? This one? We have a regular trading hour gap that is unfilled. So I'm expecting lower prices. We have sell side liquidity below here. So we'll see. Okay, we identified the breaker from here on higher time frame. This hourly breaker. We did took a look at the higher time frame. Pay the trader, okay? You are late joining my stream. So see price is clearing out the lows without me it's okay this is something that i saw so many times price delivering without me and i don't care about it divergence between nas and 500 let's see do we have a divergence here on es we do have a breaker here with little bit called high this price generated We also have a bullish breaker on NQ five minute. NQ five minute this bullish breaker. This one. Yeah, I already marked it. We have this uh unfilled fair valley gap as well as the fair uh breaker here on five minute. Then we cleared out the low on Nasdaq. So this is a discount level, right? This is a so opportunity is never opportunity is always there. Okay folks, we'll we'll have to be patient deciding our entries with the market and that's what i do that's how we see the market breaker to breaker right us uh trade lower your e ego when at the table with someone knowledgeable you sit and listen instead of spitting out your own thoughts yeah it's okay i can avoid the thoughts they have so see price didn't get me entry here i wanted to see price hitting the fair valley cap right and then going lower what price did price hit this one this cb and then it went lower so I call the market from this CB, go back and you will hear me saying, I wanna see price going lower exactly from the CB here. So do I feel anything that I missed the entry here? This was, this was a very nice delivery, right? Towards sell side liquidity, I don't. I don't because my macros will keep providing me setups like this again and again. So very, very beautiful delivery towards sell side liquidity. This is something that you should take a screenshot, put in your journal, and this is something that will keep repeating again and again. Geekai the trader. Hey, brother. Good morning, brother. Good morning. Not streaming today, so I decided to hop on. Good luck today, brother. Thank you. Thank, thank you for the wishes. Why are you not trading today? Anyway, so this is something, folks. This is someone that you should be checking out his channel. He is someone who does trades on funded account in live streams and makes good money. So you should check out my brother when I'm not streaming, uh, which is very rare. I'm going to stream every single day from now on. When I'm not, you can go and watch his stream. Geek the trader. Uh, KK Hydra, you don't trade silver bullets. I do. I do. I, are you new here? I do trade silver bullet uh, inside 1020 to 1040 macro. I do not trade the whole one hour time period. Rather, I believe in macro. Small little separation in time and that's what i look for setups going to breaker in silver bullets so this was a good call from here right delivering towards sell side now we'll wait we also generated a lot of buy side liquidity here and nasdaq has a bullish breaker here on five minute chart that we outlined way before 
right this breaker all the way up all the way down here so breaker to breaker do you guys see that market maker buy model generated with a breaker market maker sell model generated with a breaker right so someone named with a crypto queen yesterday was telling me i need to know more than breaker to call market he was thanking ict for the good stuff he told me i'm losing more than i'm winning oh my god i was like really and this is someone who don't make money okay <laughs> it's okay to trade with one single model that's how you that's how you become professional you the folks who trade with every single model out there all the at pdras they don't make money trust me you only need one setup, one model that goes you with your personality that you can see in charts easily. Okay, like the breaker. See, so easy to spot. You just have to outline the higher time frame levels, just like I did. This was a higher time frame breaker, right? A breaker inside had an inversion inside it. So every single move here called, I told you guys the price will reach for the inversion. Guys did that. Less is not more. You'll have to know a little bit more, like how to align higher time frame with your model, and that's a lot. Okay, most of the people are like trading a pattern. What is Geekai Trader Stream? He trades on features just like me, Dow, Nasdaq. So yeah, no forex though. My brother doesn't trade on forex, so if you are interested in features, you can go ahead and watch his stream. Nice one, both just enjoying everything. Thank you. So on ES, we generated relatively really high up here on one minute. And on DAO, we also generated a lot of trend line liquidity up here. And we are yet to clear out the sell side liquidity from here. Right, and we are trading inside our macro 920 to 940. And this here looks a lot choppier. So I'm not going to consider any breaker from here. Rather, I'm going to wa watch price delivering liquidity all the way down here. And this is what the folks who are here to learn, they will find it very insightful they will see how i call the market from here with this level how i aligned the higher time frame to call the market on lower time frame the specific levels because this skill is transferable once you have the skill okay you will not have to watch my stream anymore you can do it on your own and trust me this pattern keeps repeating again and again and again why are you looking in the 920 to 940 macro because this is my high probability macro. And Dixie leaving breaker, maybe a retest and then back up. Dixie, Dixie, where is it? Yeah, that's what I told you guys. Like from here, see, we had another good call on dollar from this level, right? Did I told you guys that dollar will go lower? No, I told you that this is a good level for support. And we do have, we do have another level for price to reject. On dollar, we do have this mitigation block. This is not a breaker because we don't have a stop hunt here. And we do have a breaker here, okay, which is also near to the new day opening gap. So we'll see which one provides us an opportunity. I'm gonna put an alert here and an alert to our sell side liquidity. Now let's go back to Dow. And very beautiful delivery very very nice delivery we reached again on the breaker on nasdaq okay we are hitting the breaker inside our macro do we have lower targets do we have sell side liquidity below here we do have a new day sorry unfilled regular trading our gap so it depends on you if you are taking the setup or not So let's see what they can do, okay? Let's take a look. 
five minute chart do you guys see the breaker lower low new lower low so these up close candles becomes our breaker Can you please write the name of your brother's YouTube? Bro, it's, I pinned it. There's one hour equal Lozen and Q. Yeah, but we also do have a breaker here. Now take a look on one minute chart. What do you see? We have a couple of uh, relative equal highs up here. So I'm not taking the setup, but I'm watching it. And we are yet to clear out the low here on Dow. Yes too. Okay. On yes, we are yet to clear out the sell side liquidity, which is also a relative equal low. If you guys take a quick look here, swing low, relative equal low. So Dow cleared out our sell side liquidity that we wanted to see price clearing out, but with us, it's okay. Now let's take a look on 30 second and let's see price want to move higher from this level or not. The plus breaker on five minute can be a low probability because the relative equal low. Yes. Yes, but take a take a keep an eye on this. Okay. Tape read this uh, this setup. If price is respecting this setup because we also generated a couple of uh, buy side liquidity up here. So we can see a good re reaction from here. So dollar hit our breaker. that I outlined now let's see if dollar is rejecting they will move higher okay they will go higher is 928 we have a couple of minutes two minutes before the 930 gets delivered and this is our breaker here on Dow I'm not going to tell you guys entries anymore. It depends on you. Okay. If you are taking your entry and if you can take a winning trade by looking at a breaker, by outlining a breaker by yourself, trust me, you are progressing already. So we had a volume balance price getting support. Now let's see if price goes higher. We have uh, a lot of buy side liquidity up here. Do you guys see that this trend line liquidity, this relative equal high up here? So I want to see Dow going higher from this level. Now that it cleared out the sell side liquidity from here.
So this is the entry that I took, okay? This is the entry that I took on my trade of a 100k funded account. I only risk 0.5% of my account, okay? And my entry was here exactly at this level. As soon as I saw price getting support from this breaker, okay? I only risk 0.5% in my trading account. In my funded account, 150k, I risk 0.5%. That means what? one contract they allow only three contracts so i choose to take one contract here all the way up here i have other funded accounts plus my live account and my mentor is with me oh my god <laughs> oh my god my mentor is watching me Oh my god. I'm literally shaking right now. <laughs> Mentor, I love you. I love you. I'm I'm so I'm feeling so proud because you are watching me. I don't know what to say, okay? <laughs> I always wanted you to watch my stream and now you watched it. Okay, okay, so we're gonna focus again, okay, where price can potentially go. And this is what we do, right? Uh, we trade inside specific time periods the way our mentor taught us. <coughs> and that's how we do it. This was a low probability breaker on NASDAQ and I told you guys that this DAO is looking pretty good today, right? So, yeah, <coughs> so DAO, continue to provide value, continue to... So this is something, folks, you get with your uh, skill, okay? And how to differentiate between a low probability and a high probability setup, right? And you guys saw me outlining the breaker here and how I avoided trading on NASDAQ even though I saw a breaker here, but this to me was a low probability breaker because of the delivery, right? Because of the target. So I'm, I'm gonna explain now why I avoided looking at NASDAQ because, do you guys see that? NASDAQ didn't have the relative equal high here, right? And I consider relative equal high, relative equal low as high probability model, high, sorry, high probability target. I told you guys there are three targets that is high probability and this is relative equal high, relative equal low, trend line liquidity and unfilled fair value gap. We had a unfilled fair value gap visible here we had relative equal high visible here, and that's what we target, right? We targeted the relative equal high. We saw it. Th this is why I stick with DAO, because the targets are clean visible on DAO, but this is not visible on NASDAQ, <clears throat> right? You don't need to see me execute in front of you to gain the experience. You can do it just because I'm already telling you, okay, I want to see market going higher from here. I want to see market going lower from here. From my own personal st uh, space, I'm gonna do my own execution because I feel like it gives me way more uh, peace of mind. When I'm executing in front of you, I don't know what happens inside me. I don't feel that peace of mind, but when I'm doing it on my own and giving you a uh, indication where price will go, it gives me a peace of mind. So another breaker to breaker, market maker sell model started with a breaker, market maker buy model started with a breaker, Price hit the breaker again, and let's see if price goes lower or not, okay? I don't see any high probability targets here. I don't see relative equal lows. We do have a <coughs> regular trading our gap downside on, on to our sell side. So we'll also keep an eye on this, and 
do you guys see why? Why did I call from the breaker here? Again, because of the high probability target. What is the high probability target? This, uh, this trend line liquidity. I always tell you guys there are three targets. Market will not reverse. And that's what I found from my experience. Okay, price will not reverse until it clears out three types of strong liquidity. There is retail stop, relative equal high, relative equal low trend line liquidity. Again, retail stop. And then unfilled fair value gap. Once price fills this, clears out uh, old high, old lows in a form of relative equal high, relative equal low, price will reverse. <clears throat> then what do you guys see here? Price generated relative equal high here, trend line liquidity, price came back up, fill the gap, right? Clear out all the buy side liquidity from here. Now it's reversing. Now see how beautiful it is. I waited all along here. I didn't got an entry here. I wanted to see price hitting here, but it turned out to be a breakout, breakaway gap. My patience paid me here. <clears throat> so now we'll wait again. Okay, now we'll wait and see what price does in this breaker. We have a fair value gap, right? I don't see uh, I don't see targets the way I saw it here, so I'm not gonna take it. And as well, we are trading outside of my macro 920 to 940. See, that's why I, that's how I differentiate between a low and a high probability breaker. We'll wait for 950 macro to get started, and before that, we wanna see price generating targets for us, right? The way it's doing right here. What is this? This is a relative equal low right so i want to see price generating levels like this before it gets inside our next ict macro 952 1010 and there's another silver bullet if we don't get a chance at 950 to 1010 we have silver bullet and i trade i don't trade the whole one hour period but i do trade not 1020 to 1040 period right because I found, I found out from my experience that 20 to 40 inside the time period price forms a breaker. So I'm gonna stick with my experience and I'm gonna wait. So let's build our narrative again, okay? Folks, price delivered from here, 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 here. Now we'll see where price can go and potentially reverse again. <clears throat> we still have lower prices, uh, low, lower targets here. The regular trading hour gap. So I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna stick with Dow today. Dow seems a lot cleaner to me compared to Nasdaq and ES because Dow is generating relative equal lows and stuff like that. The stuff that we want to see, the good stuff. So do you guys see that the relative tra regular trading hour gap? Okay, I don't know if price is going to reach all the way down here, but I'm expecting price reaching down here by the end of this week. So if price is leaving this re regular trading hour gap today, we can come back tomorrow and target it. So charts are looking uh, looking very choppy. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide a little bit more drawings because I, I want to see my charts clean. <clears throat> we still have a lot more targets down here. Right, we are still trading inside the inversion, so this is what you want to see inside you how I'm aligning higher time frame narrative with no lower time frame models. Right, I told you guys that the inversion is gonna be very powerful, and it did. We still have this sell side liquidity down here, and we have another sell side liquidity down here, which is coming inside our new day opening gap. So I'm still bearish, but we have this uh, relative equal is it SMT? If it's SMT. I'm gonna consider it as a low probability target, okay? But if it's not a SMT, let me check, let me check real quick. If it's not a SMT, if all the charts generated the same relative equal high, then I'm gonna avoid it, okay? So now let's take a look, a uh, quick look on NASDAQ 15 minute chart. So it is a SMT, right? It is a SMT. What is this? Minimize pain, delete pain, yeah. Is it SMT? This high formed at seven o'clock. Seven, okay, is, it is SMT because see, the price cleared out this on uh, 
NASDAQ. And on yes, let's go and take a look on 15 minute chart. 7 o'clock. Seems like it is SMT. So I'll wait. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait to see if price is clearing this level out because I don't have a clean analysis right now. No, now the price meet our target, the low, lower target. So I'm going to hide the inversion here. Okay, this inversion is not important to me anymore. <clears throat> so this breaker again. This was from the hourly chart and do you guys see how price respected this breaker? Why is it a breaker? Higher high, new higher high. So this down close candles becomes what? Our breaker. Right? Very aggressive delivery towards buy side from here. So now let's go back to our one minute chart. And we trade on 30 second where retail hurt shakes. Okay? We call market with precision or even on 30 second, on 15 second, because we don't fear. If we know how to read price action on hourly chart, on 15 minute chart, we can do the same thing on 30 second. It, there's no difference between the way price delivers on our chart, hourly chart, and on 30 second chart. It's the same. It's not choppy. It's choppy when you are not using macros, when, we, when you don't know how to align time and price and when you learn how to do that, like to me, see, on 30 seconds, the folks who don't know what to do, they will see, okay, 30 seconds is so choppy, my God. But see, inside our macro, 8.50 to 9.10, price activated the breaker. When did this breaker got activated? 9.20 to 9.40, right? So inside our macros, price repeats the setup again and again and again and again. So I'll wait, I'll wait for Prada to see if price is clearing out this equal high and we know the price reverses after it clears out strong buy side liquidity. So I don't, I'm not gonna look at the hourly breaker that I outlined anymore. I'm gonna wait, we do have targets here again. The relative equal low, right? And NASDAQ, see NASDAQ became choppy. NASDAQ became choppy and um, it's doing something that I want I don't want to I don't want to push button here. So, but I'm going to keep looking at S, uh, Nasdaq for SMT as well as at ES. But I'm not going to trade on this pair. ES still has the relative equal low. So, I believe Dow will go lower as we have relative equal lows intact on ES. Do you guys see that how clean it is? Price generated another low here. That means what? It's relatively equal to these lows and that is working as a strong target. So now let's wait. We have a order block here. Price respected it here. I want to see price clearing this level out before going lower. I want to see price going above this new day opening gap that we outlined. Dollar. Again, another nice call on dollar to the tick with precision see do you guys see that i told you guys price will go towards buy side liquidity from here i gave you guys two levels this is the mitigation block right why is it a mitigation block because there's no stop hunt above here but we do have a breaker here alongside with the new day opening gap right this is a new day opening gap i told you guys price will reverse from here what do you see here we had i did two calls on dollar both turned out to be profitable so in total five calls five out of five profitable 500 people watching folks can we get to 300 likes is it, is it too much to ask like the quality of the content that you are getting i believe 300 likes is reachable let's smash the like get to 300 and after that i'll start talking You want to see where dollar is going next hit the like button and i will analyze the chart for you
So we had a pool going on today, right? Uh, Forty percent people uh, voted for bearish price action, thirty-two percent for bullish. So no expectation, eighteen percent sideline, eight percent. So we majority of us were right, right? Like uh, calling market towards lower, towards sell side. Uh, Sher Khan, hi brother, long time no see, long time no see. Where have you been all along? I, I remember you from my stream when I was starting like eight months ago, when I started streaming, I used to see you in my stream regularly. So where dollar is growing, we are just six, uh, eight likes away from 300. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go to 800 likes. Sorry, 300 likes, not 800. So on dollar, okay, <clears throat> gotta run. Okay, Reggie, check you. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, Hydra deserves all the like. Thank you. Okay, we reached 300 likes. Now let's start. Okay, now where dollar is going? Dollar hit our premium PD area, right? So once dollar, what I believe, okay, once price hits a breaker, it ta it targets sell side liquidity. So this is where dollar is going. I'm expecting here dollars reaching here. Why? There are more logic to it for. For you to see the logic, you'll have to go to the lower time frame. What do you see here? We have relative equal lows down here, right? So these levels, folks, always attracts price like a magnet because these are levels where retails are buying and price is coming back to it, right? And now we know dollar is going lower, but we want to see dollar going higher, okay? Because we still want to see uh, Dow going lower. So we have our sell side liquidity. We cleared it out. We generated another sell side liquidity. So keep an eye on this. What is this gray box? Okay, this is our daily fair valley gap. Okay. Now on daily chart, we also hit the fair valley gap alongside with the breaker from here. There, there's also a breaker on daily chart on uh on dollar. Do you guys see that? This is our uh, low of the breaker. Price came back up and it's aligning with the fair value gap here. So I want to see dollar going lower from here. Okay, we do have, we still have uh, relative equal lows down here. So let's see if dollar goes lower. I'm going to wait now. I'm going to wait and see if there's a plus setup. I'm going to take it. If not, I won't take it. So what I'm expecting to see dollar going lower below the sell side liquidity here. Once dollar does that, I'll come back and see what dollar can do. Okay. So I'm expecting dollar lower. We are inside our 950 macro. Now let's go back to Dow again. What do we see here? What do we see here? We outlined our level from where dollar can revert. Sorry, where from where Dow can reverse, right? The relative equal highs, price came back up, cleared out the relative equal high. Now, what can we use here for to confirm our market structure shift? Do you guys see this fair value gap? So what I wanna see is this turning into an inversion. It's not an inversion yet. I wanna see price going lower. And I wanna see this one turning into an inversion. And if it does that, okay, we have targets here. We have an unfilled fair value gap on one minute chart and we do have this relative equal low down here. Plus we are trading inside macro. So time is the most important part here, folks. Okay. We again hit the volume imbalance. So I want to see price going lower from this level, from this inversion. And let's see if price does that or not. 9.52. So 
so we'll see what if this inversion is sending us lower if not we'll wait and see if a break are forming here okay because if price is going above this swing high then price will also generate a breaker but let's see okay let's wait and see what price does we are trading inside 952 i want to see price going lower from this inversion and let's see smr it's not smr yet okay we use old inversion at smr zone is very powerful this is not a smr zone yet okay price didn't confirm the market structure shift yet once price goes below we'll see what price does okay we'll see We'll see what price can do. There's also a one minute fair value gap and a one minute order block. One minute fair value gap. Yep. Yeah, this is what this is the one. Okay, this is not a this is a fair value gap. Okay. I'm expecting it to turn out to be a inversion. Okay, there's another thing to keep in mind. These up close candles now will work as a breaker. So I want to see okay this is a level where I'll keep an eye because if price is going lower and I'm right then I want to see price smashing through this level I don't want to see price getting support from this level because if it does that this is a bullish PD array so let's wait let's wait Nasdaq as well cleared out the relative equal highs from here the buy side liquidity and this is this breaker is not applicable anymore see this is why I wait okay when I don't have a clean analysis like I don't know what price is gonna do I wait for price to show its hand to me by going below a certain low this was the inversion I wanted to see price going below it once it did that suppose price closed the candles body what do I mean by going below I wanted to see price closing a candles body below the inversion generating a fair value gap here and then coming lower now let's wait this is this is not an inversion yet so this is a BC that price could support we have a breaker now right alongside with this inversion so it's not a breaker yet I'm, I want to see price going lower from this level Closing a candle's body below the breaker, and then we can potentially have a setup. So once it becomes a breaker, I'll keep an eye on this. We also have a weekly fair value gap here. Okay. So weekly inversion level. So inversion at this price lag is very, very powerful, folks. Okay. Inversion at this price lag right here. Now let's go here and and let's see if price rejects from this inversion or not. We do have our setup. We do have our breaker. This last down close candles prior to a move up. Now I'm gonna wait 9:56, right? I'm gonna wait and see what price does. NQ going to 15:926, 15:965 breaker. So there are two things, two PDRAs that are aligning, okay? And this will give us a good idea if price wanna move higher or not. I wanna see price going lower, so this one minute fair value gap, I'm gonna keep an eye on this one. And if price is going below this fair value gap, right? Price is also going below this last down close candles here. So this is our fair value gap BC more relative equal lows indication from price that i wanna go lower a unfilled uh, in volume balance fair value gap has not been created on dow turtle soup no not yet not yet turtle soup because i have a higher target here this inversion on weekly chart i don't know okay price is gonna reach here and I don't want to know. I'll, once price goes below this fair value cap, only after then I'll have a clean analysis. 
until then i'm gonna wait we are trading inside our macro here 957 okay So price is getting support from this one. These are bullish order block right now, okay? It's not a breaker yet. This is why I'm waiting. 9.58. And look at NASDAQ, okay? Look at this delivery here. What is this? This is what I taught you guys as trend line liquidity right inside my 3D workshop. I did that. So NASDAQ generated our target. Dow also has relative equal low down here. Relative equal low down here and then all as well as here. <clears throat> so let's wait and see what price does. Okay, I'm still gonna wait. I'm gonna tape read 1020 to 1040 macro and after that I'll close my stream. Until then I'm with you guys. Okay, so let's see if price provides any other opportunity today. I got my trade. I'm done for today. I made my money. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna tape read whatever price does next. So there's another reason I'm waiting because if you guys look at dollar, dollar is yet to clear out this swing low right here that I told you guys that dollar will take out. Okay, so I wanna see what dollar does after it clears out this sell side liquidity. This is why I'm waiting, I have a alert here. So once dollar cross it, I'll come back and I'll analyze dollar again. Thirty-five one hundred and thirty-five one twenty seems like good price level for price to reverse. So more relative equal highs up here, right? So before price moves lower, I want to see this getting clear. Uh, taken out is it a smt is it a smt with yes let me check real quick okay easy it is a smt right it is a smt as well as with nasdaq nasdaq made a higher high down made a lower low so let's see this is a mitigation block this is not a breaker So let's see if price respects this SMT, okay? I'm still not doing anything. I will do something once price goes below these down close candles. So price respecting this SMT. SMT here. Center and style. 
SM28ES and NASDAQ. We are still trading inside our macro, folks. Nine, uh, a nine fifty to ten ten. Okay, and seems like we are pretty much right, calling the market lower. I'm confident because of the really trend line liquidity that price generated on Nasdaq, and the relative equal low that we have here on ES as well. We have this big fair value gap here. So price can potentially get support from this one, but I'm expecting lower prices until we get down. SMT is uh, sorry SMR is smart money reversal zone okay so <clears throat> seems like price is respecting it I want to see a fair value gap here okay I want to see price aggressively delivering when it's going below this uh, uh, breaker here okay this is a breaker and we also got a SMT this is our swing high this is our stop hunt we had a fair we have a fair value gap here So I want to see this candle closing below the breaker, right? This is a breaker now. This is not a BC. This is a breaker. And I want to see price going lower from this level right here. And this is the last call I'm doing, okay? I'm done for today. I got my one trade. And you guys know what to do. The MMT trader note, if we can think as retails and act like professional, we'll be doing damage for others and good for ourselves. Happy you all. Because that's how the algorithm is programmed. No, algorithm as well respects the retail theory. So you'll also have to learn when algorithm will respect their theory and when it will respect ours, okay? Algorithm delivers price by respecting all of our, all of our concept, all of our theory. So here... Algorithm did what? Respected retail theory. It generated relative equal low, double bottom, went higher, trend line liquidity, right? And let's see what, what price does here. I'm expecting lower prices. We generated a volume imbalance. We are also trading inside our macro 950 to 1010. So let's see if dollar if Dow goes lower. What dollar did? Dollar cleared out of sell side liquidity. So Let's see if dollar reverses or not. See, that's why I told you guys that I want to see dollar, what dollar does here. If dollar is aggressive delivering liquidity here, okay, towards sell side liquidity, let's see where dollar can potentially go. We have a long week. So when I see a long week, I measure it like this, the way our mentor taught us. And I expect to see price getting support from 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 level because these are premium and discount levels for price for algorithm this is how algorithm sees it so we'll see what price does here on dollar this is as well a rejection block So I'll put an alert here. If dollar is reaching here, I want to keep an eye on this level as well. NASDAQ generated a breaker as well. Higher high, new higher high, down close candles. We have lower targets on NASDAQ. Right, this trend line liquidity. I want to see it getting taken out.
Yes, the same thing. More relative equal lows. So I believe they will go lower. <coughs> Hydra, do you take trades when prices between or before take? Okay, let me. Do you take trades when prices between or before takes? equal or equal high or you wait for price to take liquidity in order to confirm your trade it depends okay uh if there's a turtle soup model i want to see price clearing out the relative equal high and then moving lower but if i'm trading with breaker i want to see relative equal high intact and relative equal low intact because with a breaker i can target these lows okay it depends on the setup and that's what i taught you uh, pablo i believe you are inside my three-day workshop so you, you will find uh a lot more information about this how i look at relative equal high and low inside there okay and dollar got support from here let's go to one minute chart dollar got support from the rejection block right and now let's go to our dow dow seems like respecting our breaker as well see another nice call i want to see dow going lower and this is a one minute breaker folks okay this is a level i told you guys that i want to keep an eye on i want to see price aggressively smashing through this level and not not getting support from this level again i want to see dow smashing through here nasdaq breaker also got activated inside our macro 9 10 9 so price activated this breaker inside where 9 feet to 10 10 macro Is it really our mentor's account? It is. Do you don't you guys see the tick mark? The account gets verified once you cross 100k subscribers. So a fake account can do that. Any insight that you could share about this? About what? Uh, yes, made the official one. Does this count as silver bullet also? Yes, it does count as silver bullet also as we have a fair value gap. You don't need to ask me to confirm the silver bullet because you can see it here. So this is the seven, seven, uh, sixth call, right? Sixth time today in a row, I got right. This is something that you won't see outside uh, our community, okay? The retails, they will talk about the theory in hindsight, but they won't be able to show it to you in live price action. So, suppose you took entry here, you will put your stop loss at the break even now because there's no logic behind you holding once price is coming back up at these levels, okay? This is a good level to put your TP because uh, look here. This is a BPR, right? So this is a good level for price to get support. So let's see what price does. NASDAQ, another good call from this breaker here. I told you guys this is a breaker. Higher high, new higher high, down close candles. Good targets, trend line liquidity. Price is smashing through here. This is a mitigation block, okay? Let's see price respect it and goes lower. How many micros do we do we get? It's not micro, it's macro. We have a lot and every macro has a uh, logic behind it. There are some macros that continues the trend. There are macros that does the manipulation that reverses the market. So if you want to find it out more about the macros, you can check out my three day workshop. You will find the link in the description below. 
Uh, Nico, I decided to take some time off as I was getting overly attached to the accounts balance and self-imposed debt. You did really good. Andy, why are you laughing? You are blocked. See, price is respecting the mitigation block. I want to see it going lower from this level. Nico, never feel bad, okay? Never feel bad when you think you should be stopping trading. Never feel bad about that. Trust me, okay? Because your, your subconscious mind is telling you to stop now. And suppose you push the button now again and you took a loss. And that feeling, my friend, okay? Trust me, that feeling, that uh, guilt, why I did that is so so like it haunts us so don't be there never feel guilty about that about pushing button not pushing button okay taking a day off when you are not feeling trading it's the best because i told you guys patience never fails to pay when you have a model when you know when your model is gonna show up like i do right and this is nine feet to ten ten macro so i know that inside my macro price will activate a breaker and this is what price did, right? And I told you guys that I want to see price going lower from this level until it reaches this fair value gap on 30 seconds because this is what I see as a support. I'm expecting price going lower. This is where I would put my TP or take a partial. This is the sixth call in a row. We had three losing days, okay? Three losing days. Now we are smashing through with winning trades. I don't know about you, but me, I'm doing it. And a little bit more, I'm gonna share my execution. Do you guys see that? Just hit my TP from here, all the way down here from the breaker here down here another trade two trades okay i saw it as a good trade it formed inside my macro so i took it nice trade again from this high to this low so how did i took it as soon as price hit the volume imbalance i executed i put my stop loss just like here targeted all the way down here So did you guys enjoyed my stream so far? If you did, this is gonna be it for today, folks, okay? Six call in a row. Not even on uh, not even on Dow. We call the market on dollar, right? We got right two times. We called market two times to the tick on dollar and dollar respected our analysis to the tick from here, from this breaker to the low. From this breaker to the high, from this breaker to the low. Okay, this is a stream that you wanna watch again. Okay, this is a stream that you wanna watch again. And because this is something that you wanna build in yourself, the patience. Okay, you don't see it. People fake it. I don't. I missed the trade here. Did you saw me getting emotional, cursing the market? I didn't, right? Because I know I have a skill that I built it with so many hard work okay so many patient and of course the thanks goes to our mentor michael and yeah that's it for today folks i'll catch you guys tomorrow with much more value and we'll continue our stream every single day okay we will lose we don't care about losing because we know at the end of the day we have a model that will give us 50 to 70% win rate. And you saw it today, see? We will lose, we don't know how the losing streak will come. It can come with one trade, 
It can come in five trades in a row, but we do we care? We don't. So with this saying, I'm gonna close my stream. And before I do, okay, I wanna show you guys one little video that helps me when I'm going through a losing streak. So hang on here, okay? Don't go anywhere. Watch that stream and then you can go, okay? Then you are allowed to go. You are not allowed to go right now. I'm gonna show you a video that helps me to keep the peace in mind when I'm going through losing streak. I went through losing streak in my last streams. Did I felt anything? No. And how did how do I have this mindset? And this is what I'm gonna show you, okay? My mentor spaces helped me a lot. When I was going through losing streak, I was listening to his spaces all day and night. This man, okay, he's like a father figure. And he will always be the inspiration for all of us, right? The mentor of our mentor. Now let's watch the beat. Okay, that's interesting. See, you see, no matter how good a technical method is at generating winning trades, turning those winners into a consistent income requires the ability to do or not do some things that the method itself can't help us with. For example, our method can't force us to predefine the risk of getting into a trade. Or if we do predefine the risk, our method can't force us to take the loss that ends up turning into a bigger loss. Right. And, and, you know, that's happened to everybody. Okay, our method can't prevent us from moving a stop closer to our entry point where we get stopped out and the market trades back in our favor. Our method can't prevent us from hesitating and getting in too late. Or our method can't, can't stop us from jumping the gun and getting in too soon where the signal to actually get in never really develops. And our method can't stop us from getting out of a winning trade too soon and leave money on the table. Mm -hmm. Nor can it prevent us from letting a winning trade turn into a losing trade without having taken any profit. I don't okay. Now, Mark Douglas, okay, I watch him to control my mind. He's not a trader, okay? He made all his money by selling books and stuff, okay? Back in 1990s, that time he was selling, uh, giving like courses for 800 bucks. So he made all his money from selling books and all this stuff. But what he taught, he talked here is gold. We can have a method, okay, but we don't know how the losing streak will come with our model. We don't know. We have some uh, character uh, difficulties inside us, right? We cannot control when we are getting inside the trade. We can, cannot control our emotion until we learn how to do it. So when I go through a losing streak, I watch this video again and again and again, and this helps a lot. And I will recommend each and every one of you to watch my mentor's spaces, okay? You feel like, okay, that's a rant. It's not a rant. All mentor is doing is talking about psychology, okay? It's not just a lecture. Lecturer in trading, he's a psychologist, he's a doctor, and he's a trading mentor, all three of it. Thank you, mentor, for being here. I appreciate your time. And <laughs> yeah, you are everything that I'm today. I'm Everything that I'm today is because of you. I'm gonna close my stream with this saying. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.